Hey guys, my name is Chidanesh Nore and today we are going to review the Hyper ROM version 7 and first of all let's get into settings and you first of all have the Hyper tools and the phone does get a little bit laggy here and there and you have uh, application appearance you have themes, you have ASP based themes, you have themes of app you have status bar settings, status bar color you can change the status bar color you can change it to gradient color mode and you also have the battery options you can change the battery icon if you want to see the battery percentage or not and you also have many settings you have date and time settings padlock mode and you have icon and text settings you have speed traffic data settings you can activate it and it will show you your current downloading and uploading speed and you have dot ram information and you also have a custom text right over here you have notification panel you have the recent apps you have the lock screen settings and you have the toast settings you have led configuration so you can customize your rom a lot better than before you have hyper status bar and it changes your status bar color dynamically and let's change it to gradient uh, this is the one handed mode i guess and let's turn that off and you also have the full screenshot settings you have toolbar from the samsung you have edge screen settings and the edge screen comes with the uh, people's edge and the app's edge and you have auto start settings you can disable the apps that are auto starting by themselves and you have led indicator you have greenify you have viper for android you have uh, exposed framework you have smart manager settings all these you have to select from the installer and you also have the ot updater which comes with this rom and these are the normal connection settings from the samsung the additional thing is this global global roaming and you have sound settings just like from the samsung you have the music effects here let's change it to wiper for android fx and you have display and wallpaper settings let's check the wallpapers and the wallpapers are from galaxy s7 as well as some of them are from different roms like this one let's set it up and let's turn up the brightness and you also have the lock screen settings you have pattern pin password and none you can change if you want to have the camera shortcut or not you can also change uh, also set up the show information on lock screen you have the unlocking effects and you have quite a bit of them let's try the brilliant ring let's save that and and it does work and you also have the charging effects which I personally don't use and let's get out of it and you also have touch light timeout settings you have themes from the Samsung store I guess no I think they are with this ROM only and you also have the festival effect which I don't use let's turn that off you have multi window settings you have the floating messages you have notification panel you have one handed operation you have accounts, backup and reset and there's the easy mode which turns your phone into an easy layout. You have accessibility settings, vision and you have negative colors, color adjustments. And let's turn that off. Color adjustment does not work. And you also have hearing settings. You can turn on the flash notifications which I always do and you can also turn on the greenify from there you have blocking mode you have private mode private mode doesn't always work so we're just gonna let it go and you also have the users and you have date and time settings you have voice control you have battery settings let's go into that and you have power saving mode and let's turn that on you can restrict the performance and 
you also have the grayscale mode which turns your phone into grayscale and let's go out and you also have the ultra power saving mode let's go into that and this is the ultra power saving mode it saves a lot of battery and you can add more applications here by this or the UPSM manager and let's get out of it let's go into setting once again and you also have the fast charging which does not work and let's get out of it and you have about device and as you can see that the Android version is 4.4.4 and but it shows the marshmallow easter egg so let's go back and you also have the about rom and as you can see that the rom version is 7.0 and let's get into applications now and this is the phone application and you can dial numbers from here and the hide button works as in backspace and you have logs you have favorites you have contacts here and you have the messaging app just like the s6 or the s7 one you also have the internet app from the Samsung and you have the music app it is a little bit different from the Galaxy S6 and the S7 one you have the camera app the camera app is from the S6 only and you can toggle between video and picture from here and as you can see that the app search and people search does show over here as well and you also have the selfie camera and you have flash settings you have metering you have shooting mode here you have effects you have settings you have quite a bit of settings and let's get out of it and let's get into the smart manager and as you can see that the ROM usage is 81% right now and we're gonna clean that and as you can see it is now down to 64% and you also have the calculator app from the S6 as well you have the calendar app looks like the S planner and you also have the clock app which is a little bit different from the Galaxy S6 and the S7 one and you also have the downloads you have the Samsung apps, you have the gallery, and you have Greenify, you have the hyper tools here, you have logs here, you have memo, and you have music, my files. It is from the Galaxy S6, S7, but the colors are different. You have the radio app, you have the S Health, you have settings, you have tethering, you have UPSM manager, and these two you have to select in the installer. And the ROM is a bit faster than before and the phone does not get uh, any warmer and in this ROM the option key works as an option key only and you have the wallpaper, widgets, home screen settings, you have themes right over here and it does come with the briefing and as you can see all the icons have been changed into this ROM and also the status bar has been changed you can see the users here right now and you have different settings here and many settings more as well and pinching out also gives you the options and I think this ROM is pretty stable than before and it is a quite bit faster and I think that's it thanks for watching guys